the new reveals for Sparking Zero at Summer Game Fest, there's a lot of things that we still are yet to see that the community really wants. We've seen characters such as Ultra Instinct Goku, we've seen Zamasu, we've seen Raditz even, right? Like this is the Shintani design and it looks fantastic. We've seen Full Power Jiren, he looks fantastic as well, he looks damn good. You've got Golden Frieza, right? You know, you've got Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, you've got Bardock as well, which of course you gotta have Bardock, right? Like he is an OG. You've got Goku Black, which let me just say this Kamehameha effect with the purple like aura and everything and the effects is just like it's crazy it looks good man it looks really good and this is pretty much all the confirmed characters and obviously you know you're meant to add those extra characters that we've seen we don't have an updated roster just yet but you know you've got Ultra Instinct Goku add him here as well and you know Goku Black all those characters Golden Frieza and there would still be so many empty spots and now comes the question where is Dragon Ball GT right because if you look at the original Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi games or Sparking Zero games um, GT was a main component of those games a very very main component especially when you when you like even from Tenkaichi 1 you know when you didn't have the transformations from you know base form all the way up into the final form and Tenkaichi 2 that was introduced and you still had Super Saiyan 4 you know Goku, Vegeta, you had Gogeta, you had Super 17 all those characters and the crazy thing is where are they and I think that I might have an answer to that question and the answer might be DLC now hear me out this is almost 10 years ago this is like when I almost started this channel but October 25th, 2015 is when we got the whole like GT Pack 1 and 2 for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 1. Yes, G GT was a DLC all the way back then and that had the community divided because everyone was wondering why is GT a DLC, right? Like these characters, you know, they're part of the entire story even if GT isn't necessarily canon, it should have been there, right? And then you go down, you've even had Resurrection F Pack which was the movie, right? So, I feel like some GT either isn't revealed yet, or might come later down the road. Because you gotta remember, back then, during the Tenkaichi, like, original Tenkaichi games, you know, GT was really glazed, right? Like, GT was OP, like, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, if you played as him, it would be really hard to lose, right? Like, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta was crazy OP, and so was Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And, you know, Omega Shenron was the crazy big bad, like he was the strongest villain we've ever had in the series up until that point, right? Even up until Ultimate Tenkaichi, Omega Shenron was still the big bad, and Gogeta was still somewhat of a poster boy. It's only after Battle of Gods that that kind of started to change, we started to get a whole new, like, like the, the whole game sphere for Dragon Ball was revitalized. We got, you know, new forms, new abilities, new transformations. Things like that it was awesome right so GT I feel like might be taking a step back in Sparking Zero at least for the for the first bit of it and then come later as a DLC because now everybody really wants to experience the true power of Ultra Instinct the true power of Super Saiyan Blue the true power of all of these new transformations and new characters that we've never gotten to play as before and I think that that's what the developers are thinking as well uh, with Sparking Zero because we've had so many years right so many years to play as you know the GT characters and the Z characters and things like that as well as the OG Dragon Ball in Tenkaichi 3 that now with Sparking Zero they really really want to focus on the you know you know, like the hit and Kefla's and you know the the Super Goku the fusions you know Broly um, we haven't even seen Z Broly yet, right? Like, I think there's gonna be a ton of tournament power characters in this game. We've even got Beerus and Whis. They're really gonna focus on the current characters, right? Like, we've even got, for the DLC, we've got, you know, Superhero and Daima as well, which are the latest additions to the Dragon Ball universe in terms of animated stuff. The manga hasn't still been touched. I really hope we get an animated uh, Dragon Ball Super continuation after Daima. That would be the best news we could possibly get um, when it comes to the future and possibly DLC for Sparking Zero. Now, I, look, I get it, right? I get it. A lot of people don't want DLC, and I completely understand. Like, after having Xenoverse 2 
for like years now at this point, like what, eight years of Xenoverse 2 at this point? It's it's a bit jarring to hear DLC, but if they do it right and they don't overprice it, you know, you can have a season pass, you can maybe get on a discount or something. I'd be I'd be okay with that. But I completely understand. Everything's DLC now, and I get it. It should be included in the base game, but this is how like they make money in terms of like making a game last longer, I suppose. Because with fighters it was almost the same thing as well, right? Like you had your season passes and then you had the new characters come out like in waves. But it was different for fighters because that's a like that's an actual competitive fighting game. Uh, Spiking Zeroes is I think it might be more of an arcade. I don't know how competitive this game's gonna be, depending on the mechanics and things, because you can just spam or do anything. We'll see how balanced they make it for online, you know, gameplay and things like that and ranked. But it could be really good. The whole point is is the fact that I don't know if GT is gonna be there at launch. None of us do. They might surprise us and then before you know the game like they, they could do a launch trailer and then they might sneak in like gt or something because you know they said for the final dlc character that we didn't or rather the final included character that that's going to be an early unlock it's a never before seen character um in the sparking games and all the gt characters we've really seen so that really kind of throws super saiyan 4 goku out the window there Here's the thing, man. You cannot have a sparking game without Super Saiyan 4. So I genuinely believe that at some point, when it comes to Dragon Ball GT, that we will end up getting, like, you know, GT on its own. But I don't know how much of GT they will include because, as you know, Sparking Zero is going to have the biggest roster, right? So if they do want to do GT right and they want to do it properly, I would want almost like every sort of important GT character, like of course they could do like costumes for 17 and 18 to make them their GT counterparts, like I think something like that is completely fine um, and would be okay personally because you know not too much changes besides just their appearance and stuff and then maybe with the costumes you could change like their key blast or at least like a move or two because we know that's a thing in uh, uh, Sparking Zero like you know, Goku Super is getting like a power pole outfit where he actually one of his super attacks or ultimate attacks gets replaced with a power pole attack, which is really cool. But they could definitely do something like that. Now for like Super Saiyan 4 Goku or Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and like Gogeta and stuff, I, th I think you want to keep those moves that's original and unique. And also, I mean, come on, man, we're going to have GT Kid Goku in there and GT Vegeta with the... Dude, if they don't give us a GT Vegeta mustache like outfit... I will laugh so hard because can you imagine like going Super Saiyan as GT Vegeta with the mustache and then like you know he goes Super Saiyan 4 and he still has it that would be hilarious I highly doubt that they do that but I could totally see something like that happening you know and it's like there's so many characters that could definitely have you know make a Shenron Super 17 I mean baby that all the forms of baby and especially because we have great apes that could totally include Grade 8 baby, so that's that's no concern there. I think we'll definitely add all of these main characters here, um, and then we'll see something really cool. And then, especially like for GT trunks, you could just replace, I guess, the other trunks, give them a costume for GT, but you know, don't disrespect them like that, make them pretty cool, okay? Because GT trunks, I kind of fell off, man. But let me know what you think. Thank you so much for all the support. Watching that video here, and man, I gotta say, it's good to be back.